Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. Today is a fun one. We are decorating the house for Halloween. So we're gonna vlog at home, make it really cozy and fun. We're gonna add some spooky touches to the living room and we are also bringing out our Halloween tree, which is probably one of my favorite things when it comes to fall Halloween decor is the tree. And I think I picked it up a couple of years ago, I wanna say, I ordered it online. It is a black tree and we're just gonna put some cute leaves and pumpkins and skeletons and whatever else we have in there. We're just gonna sprinkle it. This is cute Halloween. I would say I'm more of like your cute Halloween kind of decor, decor gal. I don't do like the gory, gory dark. No, 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 that's not my vibe. I'm like your pumpkins, cute ghosts, things like that. Um, so we're gonna do that today. I think we're also going to watch Hocus Pocus. I really wanna show Liam, uh, the great pumpkin Charlie Brown. We were gonna put it on last night. It just did not go to plan. Um, so we're gonna try and watch it today. We'll see. I mean, I don't expect him to like sit and watch it. He'll just see it. And I love just to play things in the background while we're decorating, you know, just add some cozy fall music in the background, some ambiance, put on, put on a spooky movie, something like that. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, Larry already got the tree out for me. So we have that. However, I don't know where the decorations are for it. I also don't remember if this tree is pre-lit or if we need orange lights. So we need to get all of that figured out. I do need to pick up the living room just a little bit. I mean, we have to pick up the living room multiple times a day. Every day we've got toys and books and stuff sprinkled on the living room floor. So we're gonna get that cleaned up. Hi, buddy. You can come up. You can come say hi. Hello. Hi, bud. Got my little man right here. It's crawling up. Hi. Hey, you wanna decorate for Halloween? Larry, we have to go to Spirit Halloween and find one and look for a costume for Liam because that is coming. Guys, it's coming. Halloween is going to be here. I'm really torn on what to put him in. Cause again, like weather wise and stuff like that can be tricky around here. It can be like 88 degrees and humid and hot or it can be cool and perfectly comfortable. So anyways, let's let's get to pulling out the tree. I also think I need to move my desk because I think that is the house for the tree. Like this, not the house, but like the spot where I want the tree to live. So, hi little man. Hello again. Hello. Liam's rocking his cute t-shirt. It has a T-Rex on it and the T-Rex is holding a pumpkin. It's very cute. All right, guys, let's start this decorating. Let's make a cup of coffee. I know you guys just saw me make a cup of coffee, but that was this morning. This is not the afternoon as I'm getting ready to film this video. So coffee is much needed again, round two of coffee. So I'm gonna make another cup. I'll spare you the details of making another cup because you just saw that. Uh, so now let's head on to get decorating. Also, we're gonna do a puzzle. I'm very excited about that. Love sitting down with a puzzle. It's amazing. All right, let's go. Pivot. 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 Pivoting. Oh, did you film that? Yeah. We now have this big space to put the tree in. Isn't she beautiful? 
All right, it needs some work. We need to fluff now. I also need to vacuum because of course we have the black pine needles everywhere. This is gonna pique Liam's interest now for sure. hoping that the lights for this are in the box with the stuff, the other Halloween decor. up. Larry's going to help me fluff the top and then we're going to straighten it. I did find the ornaments and then I found two bins of Halloween decor. Here's what we have in here. Let's see if we have any lights. Are these lights? These might be lights. Nope. I think that's something fragile. Um, Liam, you going to have to help me with the lid. Okay. No lights in that one. I don't think there's lights in this one either. Oh my gosh, this is so creepy. For anybody that doesn't know Hocus Pocus and that this is Billy, this is like seriously terrifying. I don't think Liam should see that. All right. We are not seeing any of the lights, honey. No, Jack, did not like Billy. Jack did not like Billy. All right, let's put these guys here. Oh yes, I think that looks good. Pumpkins here. How cute. We love it. extra pack of fairy lights and I added them to this leaf garland up here because I have these on they're pretty leaves but they're like warm toned and at night they're kind of hard to see they're not as bright as I would like them to be so I did come back through and add some white lights through here so we'll see what it looks like at nighttime and our professional that oh the camera's doing that thing again it's like shutting off the lights it is so bizarre how it does that Look at the lights, bud. How cool is that? What do you think? How cute. See, the, the strand is all glowy, but the camera keeps turning them on and off. It's very bizarre. Are wow. You Are you helping? Candy corn, Larry. AKA pure sugar. Pure corn syrup. Actually, would you like a pumpkin or would you like a candy corn? Both, please. Both, please. One of each. Okay, so we'll get Larry a pumpkin and candy corn, and I will also take a pumpkin and a candy corn. Our iconic pumpkin, guys. Ah! Look at her in her glory. Where are we going to put it? Let's find a good spot, because we don't have a spot to put it, like, in the center of where the fireplace is, so we need to find, we need to find a spot in here. Okay, we, should, we also need batteries. Batteries. So I'm gonna get those too. Oh, is a screwdriver? I need a mini screwdriver too. So Larry has the best organizational skills ever and ideas to condense DVDs and everything like that. So um, he took my DVD collection that I had basically and put them in these sleeves. So the white sleeves are just normal, your everyday. And then the orange are Halloween and green are Christmas. And then we also have blue. 
Oh, that's Kitty. It's a catnip video. <laughs> and yellow is a workout video. Um, so we're going to pull out all of our orange sleeves. We have Casper. And then we're going to put them on top of the DVD player and watch them for the month of October. We have The Corpse Bride. Halloween Town 1 and 2, which is a very unpopular opinion. But, guys, I am not the biggest fan of this. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Let me know. Are you a fan? Uh, we also have the Haunted Mansion, which, oh, the new Haunted Mansion should be coming out on Disney Plus soon, which I'm very excited about, which I think actually in a day or so. Hocus Pocus, oh, my favorite. Probably my favorite film for Halloween time. And what do we have over here? Hocus Pocus 2, do we? No. That's on Disney Plus. The Nightmare Before Christmas. We must have ran out of orange, orange, so it's in like a yellowy orange. Yeah, I think we're going to watch this today. Wait, Nightmare Before Christmas. We have two. We have two of them. One must be like a special, I don't know. We have two Nightmare Before Christmases. Maybe one's Larry's. Yeah. Oh, one's a soundtrack. Okay, this is the soundtrack. Cool. We should leave that out too for our CD player. All right, so we're going to watch this now while Liam is down for his nap. And disc two. What is this? Disc three. What in the world is happening? Uh, I don't know. We don't need to bring that one out. Okay. There it is. Oh, I have it. I have the Scooby-Doo. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, cool. And Scared Shrek list. That might be a cute one for Leo. And the Toy Story of Terror. Actually, Liam liked Toy Story when it was on not that long ago, so we'll try that. These are the ones I normally don't pour, pull out. World War Z. What is that? Is that creepy? Um, like, what you call it? What is that? Why am I not? Why is it not? World War Z. It's not ringing a bell. I didn't think I was going to like it. You did. Okay, we're going to pull it out. And we'll watch it. All right, how's that? It's beautiful. Larry has finished the tree. And in good fashion, it's going to look like we're lighting the tree as we raise, but really it's the camera being weird. It has 27,916 fabulous orange lights. None of them twinkle. Actually, it doesn't have that many lights on it. I just made that number up. I mean, it was very good. I liked it. But it has three, mm -hmm. not one, not two, not four, three strings, strings of lights. And that's a thin tree. Mm -hmm. So it's got a lot of lights. Larry layers and lights. We are lit. We are lit over here, y'all. We are lit. <laughs> lit. Totally lit. Now we need to decorate the tree. And then, of course, we have the great... It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. So we're going to put that there. Put that there. And pop in our DVD. How's that? Perfect. Ta-da! Yay. The Sanderson Museum of Witchcraft, Salem, Massachusetts, established 1693. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. We got space. Da, da, da. Okay. <laughs> Ta-da! The tree is guarded by the gnome. I'm gonna pick up all of the fall pillows, put them away, and replace them with Halloween pillows. I'm gonna leave out the pumpkins though. We pulled out all of Liam's Halloween books, Five Black Cats, Five Little Pumpkins, Happy Halloween, and the Search and Find Halloween Fun Book.
Okay, so we have the ornaments all on the tree. We have leaves, we have the little ornament balls. We have these, which are my favorites. Um, and of course the gnomes, we have Aragog on top. And then of course, any of the ornaments that are on the bottom that are reachable for Liam, we kind of just put um, the little gnomes here and they don't have hooks or anything for him to swallow. So anything that's towards the bottom or the fact that it's naked, hello here, that's because they're reachable. Um, and then we have our gnome down here. And over here, I popped this, which is actually not a book. I usually get questions about this every year. It's to put stuff in, so, but it looks like a book. So we put that there. Um, a little crowded in here, but I kind of like it. Up top, we have Larry's favorite paper mache ornaments. And then we have, of course, the Nightmare Before Christmas, Hello Sally. And then this is what this side is looking like. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite. My mom has the matching pumpkin to this. Love these. And then we have two trees. This one lights up. This one actually broke. The base shattered, but we kept the tree. Larry um, shaped this down to make sure there were no sharp edges on it. And then this is a little Liam pumpkin. And then this spooky house reminds me of the Nightmare Before Christmas. My favorite pumpkin. Then we have another pumpkin back here. And then down on the floor, we have these guys here. And then that's a little mini pumpkin that we got for Liam at the farm. On the couch so far, this is what we have. This is one of my favorite pillows, I love it. It's just, I wish it was a little bit flatter because it's kind of poofy, but it's a city scene with witches flying through the night sky with a cat on a broomstick and just some pumpkins. Pumpkin pillows that I got this year. And then Larry, decorated up here, which is really cool. These three pieces here, the two ghosts and the pumpkins, they light up. And I said, oh, we gotta put stuff in there and light them up. And he was like, yeah, good luck shutting those on and off every night. And I kind of chuckled and I was like, yeah, very valid point, we're not gonna do that. So we're actually not gonna have those light up this year. And then we just kind of put the skeleton cat and rat over there, a skull from Borgen and Burks, and another skeleton kitty over here. In the recliner, we have the happy Halloween pillow. All right, so now what I wanna do is take off the runner on this table and the decor that's on here because I wanna lay out the puzzle for Larry and I to do. So we're gonna also clean off the table because we have had a few dinners and I just wanna make sure that everything is cleared off before we lay out the puzzle. But I'm gonna have to find new homes for this stuff. Or you know what, I can put it at one end and then we can use this space like on this side for the puzzle in case we sit here to do it and we can still see into the living room and the TV and stuff. So I think that's what we'll do. Should. Well, what the heck? I did my best, and by God, I really tasted something swell. And for a moment, why I even touched the sky? Mm -hmm. I did. Sandy Claus. have completed the border. Now it's time to fill in the puzzle. Okay, so the goal, the goal is to have this puzzle done before Halloween, or at least finish it on Halloween. Um, it's a big one, it's, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a definite like challenge of a puzzle. There's a lot of darks in here, but also a lot of oranges and stuff like that. So. Um, we'll see how it goes, but we did good on the border, didn't we? We did. Did a good job. Popped on good old Twilight, Larry's favorite. Mm -hmm. Lol. 